Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing stock analysis on Realty Income. This is a company that I think is one of the most stable real estate investment trusts and owns over 12,000 prop real estate properties under long-term lease with consistent, reliable tenants paying the rent and in they're increasing dividends and they've increased dividends 109 times since their public listing in 1994, annually increasing dividends for about 30 years. So this is a company that's a staple in the real estate investment trust companies, and it's a company that's reliable, it's recession-proof, and I think it's the most popular REIT, so it's good to do an in-depth analysis on if it's a buy now, a hold, and we're going to see what the valuation is off of three valuation models. Starting off, we could see at their stock price chart that they've grown in the past five, five years, they've been about stable. In the past 10 years, they have grown. And if we look at their whole history, they have grown a lot. So this is a company that offers a little bit slower, more consistent growth as it's more mature, but it does pay a monthly dividend, which really does help that dividend snowball. Now, if we start looking at their key financials, we can see their revenue has been on a steady trend upward and on both the quarterly and annually charts. And if we look at their free cash flow per year, it has also been on a steady trend upward. Like I said, slow mature growth with about Kagers of about 5 to 7%. Now, we could take a look at their shares outstanding, and they are diluting the shareholder, which is not something you want to see from a company like this. It's not a good sign, but this is such a staple in the real estate investment trust trust community. I think it's, it's okay for a company like this to do it, but you do not want to see a company diluting its shareholders, but it's more common in REITs to dilute its shareholders. Now, we could take a look at the dividends that this company offers, and we could see how long that dividend history really is, with a 10-year CAGR of 3.78%, a 5-year CAGR of 3.69%, a 3-year CAGR of 4.06%, and a 1-year CAGR of 3.02%. They have been growing this dividend all the way since 1995, when the dividend was $0.07, cents, to now the dividend being $0.26. Cents. And by the way, this is monthly, so every single dividend payment is more, like, it's, it's more drastic. Less is more in terms of the monthly dividends because annually you're paying four times more dividend payments than the, the average company. So now we're going to go into our first valuation model for realty income, which is Graham's calculator, where we plug in their current share price, we plug in their current earnings per share, we plug in their earnings growth rate, which is about five on the conservative side, and we plug in that current yield on corporate bonds, which gives us an intrinsic value of $24, which is very, very low. All right, now we're doing the discounted for cash flow model, and I feel this model is a lot better of a determiner in terms of the current value of a company because this is a much more accurate model because it discounts future cash flows back to the current. And in terms of real estate investment trusts, Graham's calculator just doesn't go that well. So if we're doing the discounted free cash flow model, we plug in their share place, we plug in the free cash flow per share, we plug in their expected growth rate, we plug in the year's assembly, and we plug in that discount rate to get a present value of $68.66, which is a lot more accurate compared to their current price of $61.47. Now we look at the last model, which is the dividend discount model with a share price of 61.47, an annual dividend of $3, an annual dividend growth rate of about 4%, year similar, and the current yield on corporate bonds. We're going to calculate and get a present value, which is a lot higher, 128, which offers almost 100% upside in this company, not to mention it pays monthly dividends. Now we're going to go to a calculator and we're going to throw all of these intrinsic values and starting with 2433 we're going to put it right in here oh wait i forgot i can't type it well, we're going to put 24.33 we're going to add it to 6866 we're going to add right here and we're going to add that to the last valuation of 128.49 to get our current valuation after we divide by three which will be the given intrinsic value which is 73 dollars and 82 cents which offers a lot higher than the current $61.47. And even with a 10% margin of safety, that would consider this a buy right now. As it is near 52-week lows, that does make sense. And paying monthly dividends, this is a reliable real estate investment trust. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you didn't just enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. We're revealing the portfolio once we hit 100 subscribers. And most of my watch time for my videos comes from people who are not subscribed. So I would very, very much appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for watching the video.